What's up everyone, it is Zombie, and today I'm going to be doing a Tower Heroes tier list for every single hero in the game. So I made a tier list in Tier List Maker, and let's get into it. So first is Beatrice. Beatrice is actually a pretty bad tower. She isn't used in any strats that I know of, and she just she's just a weak haze, pretty much. So I'm going to say not good. But she's not the worst. She's only good with Meitaki, I'd say. Keith. I don't see many strats with Keith, but Swarmp does have a strat with Keith in him. But that's like the only one that has Keith in it. So I'm going to say uh, not bad. Because just because he isn't in many strats doesn't mean he's not good. And he's good for like area damage and stuff, just like Frank or anyone else that has area damage. Wizard. So Wizard is actually very good, but the thing is, he's costly. Like he'll cost you hundreds of thousands of money just to get all of him maxed. So I'll say good sometimes because you will need a lot of money for him. Bunny. Bunny is actually very good, to be honest. Bunny has a spawn camp capability. Basically, Bunny is the best hero to spawn camp. Especially for early waves, because he's so cheap. And he just kills everything as long as you have level 3s. I'll say good sometimes. Because he's not that good for late game. So he's not really worth the slot. Chef. So, Chef actually does do a lot of damage per hit, and he can hit twice for most enemies. But, it's not really used a lot. I feel like I've seen, like, at least 10 strats with him in it. But, he is kind of bad compared to other heroes. So, I'm gonna say good sometimes, too. Oddport. So, Oddport is mostly good for short maps. Because he can only have one of him on screen at the time. So that means that he will die quicker, which means he can spawn more. As if it were a long map, he would die less and he would spawn less. So let's say not bad here. Slime King. Slime King is actually a very good summoner because of the fact that he's very good at the level 3 and level 3 is pretty cheap. So I'm going to say he's great for most maps because he can do like 200 damage by level 3. Voka. Now, Voka is actually a pretty bad tower. I don't really need to use her other than for Honeycomb Heist and Timeless Tower. So, I'm going to say not bad. Wafer. Wafer is actually a pretty good tower. I don't know why nobody uses him in strategies. Probably because he's an event hero that not many people have. But he is good, so I'm going to say great for most maps. He's just as good as probably like Branch or Scientist. Maybe a little less good than Scientist and Branch, but like he's up there. Bebo. Now, ever since the Bebo nerf, he's been not good. He's just horrible. He's still kind of good, but like with the Bebo nerf, he's bad compared to what he used to be. Bebo used to be like one of the best towers in the game, but now he's pretty bad. Fracture. Fracture isn't that bad. Um, I see him in some strategies, especially the minecart mimic grinding strategy. So let's say good sometimes. And then we have Sparks. Sparks I've seen in like two strategies. He's not that good either. Build to survive strategy that I used a bit ago. I made a video on the Grateful Mimic. But now that the Halloween event is over, it's not really useful. So I'm going to say not good because she is barely in any strategies. Pretty sure she's in a corporate chaos mimic grinding strategy. Yasuke. Now, Yasuke is up there, definitely. Yasuke is really good. In fact, you could probably do most of the maps if you just use Yasuke with Lemonade Cat and three supports. Branch. 
Branch is up there with Yasuke. Branch I use in my basic loadout where I'm not really going for any strategies or anything. And I just want to use something and see if it works. So Branch is in that loadout for me. Balloon Pal. Balloon Pal is definitely one of the best towers, to be honest. You can't do many strategies without Balloon Pal. And Balloon Pal is just amazing. Although he can't solo any map, he's good no matter what. Jester, worst tower. Do I even need to explain this? He just, he takes mana. He's, he gives you mana. I mean, he takes mana, he gives you mana. He summons enemies, he summons friends. He's basically RNG and we don't need him in any strategies or any gameplay other than to just have fun with him. So he's definitely the worst tower. Volt. Volt is actually kind of good, but he's nothing compared to Frank. So I'm going to say not good. Frank, very good towers. He's amazing for any maps early or middle games. He's not good at boss damage, but he is very good at anything else. As long as you put him and just basically get three of his max and then farm a bit. I don't know. He's great, though. He's definitely good for the new toy takeover map. Um, I used him for getting a wafer, and I actually got wafer with him. So, Hayes. Hayes is not bad. He's he's basically a buffed version of Beatrice, but I hate that Balloon Pal can't boost Hayes, and Balloon Pal just downgrades him, pretty much. Balloon Pal makes it so that he can't spawn his enemies as fast as he used to so i'm gonna say good sometimes lemonade cat lemonade is that very good towers you should use him in pretty much any loadout if not replace him with discount dog he's very good lore lore is actually pretty good he's like Psy, but you can pay for him to do multiple enemies so i'll say he's good for most maps. Scientist. You should use this guy in every loadout to be honest. Unless you're doing a special loadout with a special strategy that doesn't need him. But like you should use him. He does so much DPS. Spectre. Spectre is definitely one of the best. In fact I'm going to put him first right there. Spectre is the best tower. He is just amazing. Like bro. You can't do anything without a specter, at, at least if you're doing a solo strategy. If you're doing a multiplayer strategy, then yeah, you could you could skip specter. But man, if you're doing a solo strategy, you can't do anything without specter. You could do stuff without balloon pal, but you can't do it without specter. Unless you're doing castle town or whatever, any easy map, you know. Maytaki. Maitake is actually very good for early games and especially in Honeycomb Heist if you pair him up with if you pair her up with uh, Dumpster Child. But Maitake is great for most maps. Bite. Bite is also up there with great for most maps, honestly. He stuns and he slows. You can bite combo also. If you don't know what bite comboing is, you wait till he strikes the boss with level 4, and then you upgrade him to level 5 once that effect is up, and then you get a slowness and a stun at the same time. It's really overpowered. So I'm going to put him at great for most maps. Dumpster Child. So Dumpster Child is a pretty good tower. I made a Castle Town hard solo strategy with him, so I'm going to do... Good sometimes, yeah. Karkid. Karkid is a pretty good summoner because he basically has the Super Mario Invincibility Star. And he just slides through everything. And he has 1000 HP when he does that. Although, once he gets hit once, it lowers. So I'll put him at great for most maps. Actually, maybe I'll lower him to good sometimes. Quinn. Quinn is great for most maps. She has a lot of range and she has a pretty good b ability. And she has good DPS. She's definitely up there with the best. 
All right, so I ended up forgetting to put in discount dog, but if I were to put him in, then I would put him probably great for most maps right there because he's just a alternative to Lemonade Cat because he kind of gives you more mana because he lets you make stuff cheaper, which in the end makes it so that you have a lot more mana. All right, so now that we have every tower down, um, Dee Dee is supposed to go here, by the way. I'm going to rearrange everything so that it actually like ranks them the best in the certain row. So, Spectre definitely the first, yeah. Yazuke, I'll put um, I'll put her like right here, if I can. Yeah, I'll put her right there, and then I'm gonna put those two there. I might put Scientist before Branch. And then maybe Lemonade Cat before all of that. Because Lemonade Cat's pretty good. And uh, great for most maps. Okay. So Slime King is definitely in the back, I'll say. Quinn is definitely first. And, Qu and Wafer can be second. Laura can be third. She can be fourth. He can be fifth. And then he can be sixth. That sounds good. All right, wizard. So I'm gonna say wizard's like in the middle around here. And Hayes would be behind wizard somewhere. Maybe Dumpster Child could be up in front of Fracture. Fracture is definitely behind wizard somewhere. And I'll say Chef. Hmm, Chef is in front of Bunny or not. Hmm, that's a tough one actually. I'm gonna say Chef isn't in front of bunny and then um i'd say haze is a bit better than fracture and cart kid is a bit better than fracture fracture is actually not that good actually i'm gonna lower him to not bad to be honest he's not that good keith definitely uh i'll say he's third fracture is still last of course and this actually looks pretty good so not good so beatrice is definitely last and i'd say go like this a bit that would that looks good and then jester is the only one there because it's worst tower not worst towers and discount dog um discount dog would probably go hmm maybe like in front of maitake or lure hmm it's actually a tough one. Um, I'll do. I'll do in front of Meitaki. And that is my tier list. So we've got Spectre as the best tower, Jester as the worst tower, and Lemonade Cat as the second best tower, and Beatrice for the second worst tower. Let me know if you want to see more of this, maybe if they add a new tower or something, or if you want to see me just do more tower here's content in general and i'll see you next time peace